So now you can stand without a problem. God. Did you see that? Yeah. Did you see how she stood up? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Even so she's surprised. Even me surprised. Because when she came in, she was scared, isn't it? Come on! Yeah. Come on! Come on! So now you can walk. <laughs> yeah. What's going on with the you know, demons? Uh? So you see this lady can walk now. Eh? How you see your sister? What she's doing? <laughs> Look. Look how she's moving. But all along she was a sick person, she was doing it. And she can't turn the neck. She can't turn the neck. So now, can you see now by only touching you, touching just once, she became free. The way she stood up from here was shocking. Come on, <laughs> Timon, come on. Out, you dirty spirit. Come on, you family spirit, come on. You are a demon. Yeah. You are you not shocked? I mean, yeah, the way shocked. you sit down from the chair. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Jeez, come on. Yeah. Get your spirit. <laughs> come here, my girl. Come here. Come here. Oh, let me use the sister. Come here, sister. Come here. You demon. Come on. Come on. Hurry. Hurry. Come on. Come on. Come on. You are leaving this lady. Hurry. Puma. 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 She's a snake. Puma. Jesus, she's free. Lift her. Lift her. Walk, Mama. Walk. Walk, Mama. Walk. Jesus has healed you. You can turn your, your neck now. Huh? Walk. Walk, Mama. God has healed you. Huh? What, what, what are you thinking now? Turn and look at your sister. She's here. What do you think? It's good. Huh? I thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't dance. Oh, but God. <laughs> you saw this lady when you came here. Ah. Small thing. That's to park with one clap. She's free. Walk, Mama. Walk. Satan is not a good Satan. Walk. Uh, can we can we clap hands for Jesus? How are, How are you feeling? Yeah, it's much better. Huh? I'm telling you. You feel light, huh? Yeah. Hmm. Go turn there. You come back on that sister there. Ah. Did you take care when she was working before? Yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. Now you look like a lady now.
Jesus. I'm not being physically. I pray that they have their children to save Christ. Don't listen. Let's bring another one. I greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, viewers all over the world. Welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our one-on-one -on -one international visitors program and uh, the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T.E. Makaranisa. And stand with me here today is my sister who had an opportunity of sitting down with the Apostle and Prophet Andres Simono. Ma, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. I'm Vesi Vondla from Cape Town. What are the reasons or challenges that brought you here? Um, I came for my sister mostly, my problem as well, but my sister was very sick. Oh, I was, uh, I was, uh, I was start, I start last, from last year, November. Yeah, I couldn't walk. I have a problem at head. It's like I got uh, the hole inside and I can't walk. I can't see the dizziness. Everything was moving. Yes, I went to hospital. They check everything. They said, no, there's nothing. Till we came here yesterday. You see now I'm walking. You see now I can dance. And there's nothing moving. Uh, yeah, they're helping me a lot. So, can you just, maybe you tell us what, what you were seeing in your sister, you know? I was I was stressing really because even the face was changed, everything. You lose a job, you lose everything. Mm. And how has the sickness been affecting you or how has it affected you? Oh, it affects me a lot because I lost everything now. I'm no more working. I don't have money. I went to Sangomas, I went to doctors. If you come to my house, you will see the, the chemist. <laughs> There is a lot of motives, everything, but it couldn't help me. Only he can help me. Yes. So, Ma, can you just explain her state when you brought her here? Okay. What happened here is this, ne? I came with, from Cape Town to here, and she came from Deben to here. So, she take a taxi, and then it was, I don't know, the place where the taxi dropped her. And he was crying because the driver, I think he came a little bit late. And he was sitting there. He, said he was holding the chair because everything is moving. When he sit down, he's moving like he's going to fall. When he's going, everything is moving. It was very bad. I don't want to lie. This was very bad. And he was stressing the whole family. Me either. That's why I come from Cape Town to help. So that I can go. Even when he went to bath, we go with her. It's not like she can walk, ne? but because when you walk, it's like it's going to fall. You see. So you had an opportunity of sitting down with Prophet Andres one-on-one. -on -one. Please tell us what happened when he saw you. Hey, I don't know what happened. I had, <laughs> I had Prophet to say, Daimo, she's running. <laughs> I don't know what's happened. And from there, I'm walking. Yeah. So, and I sleep all night yes 
and this side was not working, but at least now it's working. I can turn my neck. Yes. Because so, Ma. Mm -hmm. So, can you take us through what happened? If you you were there when Prophet Andres prayed for her, she's saying she doesn't remember what happened. All she remembers was standing up. So, can you just take us through it? Okay. What happened is this: when the Prophet said, "In the name of Jesus," he touched the head. He just jumped, and I was scared as well because I was sitting with her. I tried to move because you can't touch the head because the head, he says, is like a glass, broken glasses. So no one must touch the head. So I was shocked when it the prophet touched. I was like, maybe after this touch, I was going to happen. I was stressing. But after the touch, the business was finished. Mm. And how do you feel? I feel okay. I'm free. I would like to thank you very much to pastors and the, that man of God. They help me a lot. Even the pastor pray for me today. Yes. So, Ma can you take us through what Prophet Andres spoke to you about regarding you? No, he speak about the marriage. We're not supposed to be married, but because of grace. And then, oh, about the son as well. Her son is going to prosper. He's going to get a new job. So you also had an opportunity of sitting down with the Apostle this morning one-on-one. -on -one. What did he say to you? Hey, he said, I'm free. Okay, yeah, I'm healed now, yes. And what did the Apostle say to you? Uh, yeah, he prophesied to me, ne? because we're planning to build a house next year, and he told me exactly that. And he told us we're going to build a house, everything will be on May, yes. And how do you feel after your one-on-one -on -one sessions with both Prophet Andres and the Apostle? I'm, happy. I'm very happy because my husband yesterday he asked me if there was no prophet for him, prophecy <laughs> for him. And today there was a prophecy for him. Uh, what did mm. they say? He's talking about this house. He asked uh, who's the man with the small stomach, just stomach. I know it's my husband. Mm. He said this man is very worried about building the house. And Mama, how can, what can you say to somebody who's sick, like, you know, they cannot do anything? What words of encouragement do you have for them? They must come here. They must come here. They will walk. They can see me now. I'm walking. As yesterday, I couldn't walk. I couldn't turn my, my neck. And today, hey, I, they must come here. They will be healed. In Jesus' name. Mm. Thank you so much. We are done. Thank the Jesus here. Yeah. This ministry is really helping the people. We are happy. We're coming from far, but we get help. Leave that stomach. Leave that stomach, you demon. Leave. Fire. Fire in that stomach. Fire. Fire. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire. Fire in the name of Jesus. Push your ear. Leave this stomach, you demon. Name of Jesus. Come on. Hurry. Come on. Come on. Come on. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hmm. Jesus, my dear. You are free, Mama. Lift her up and touch her.
looking. Thank you for removing this witchcraft body. Jesus mighty name. Let's bring the brother. Let's bring that man and his child. Jesus! Save, 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 save. Jesus! I have blessed you. Thank you. If I can manage sex in the resolution, that's the answer. Yeah. Yes. But what a degree. Honours. Yeah, and register for masters. And register for masters. Mm. Um, don't you know I've never been educated like you at all? No.
Jesus. Thank you. 
Jesus mighty. Let him be above everyone in that family until they agree that there's Jesus. Protect him. Jesus. Amen. Let me pray for your car. Let me stretch my hand. Thank you, Jesus. I pray for this car. No accident in the name of Jesus. You shall buy more cars. Amen. In the name of Jesus. You shall buy even better than this one. In Jesus' mighty name. Any spirit that is conspiring against you, trying to cause accident, I remove it. In Jesus' name. Amen. God, God will give you 663. God bless you. Thank you. I greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, viewers all over the world. Welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our one-on-one -on -one international visitors program under uh, the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophet T. Makanenisa. And standing with me here today is my brother who had an opportunity of sitting down with both the Apostle and Prophet Andres Simono. Sir, can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? Hello, my name is Padia and I come from Johannesburg. So what are the reasons or challenges that brought you here? So I came here because I had spiritual attacks. I used to have nightmares that would cause my health to decline rapidly. So regarding that, you said you had spiritual attacks that made your health to decline. Did you go to the doctor? Were you given any diagnosis? I have not received any diagnosis. Um, it was just uh, something that was picked up shallowly. So the doctors were claiming that uh, my bladder had an infection. Um, however, as time went by, I realized that there is more to that as the dreams proceeded. And how did that affect you? So I would feel weak and I was not able to eat, which was more than what the doctor had told me. So I realized that on account of the dreams I used to have, um, that, that could be the reason why my health was declining. So I, I came to seek for spiritual help. During your group session, before you had your one-on-one -on -one with Prophet Andres, did he minister to you? If yes, please tell us what he said. Yes, the first thing that he picked up was the issue of him seeing a lot of spiritual attacks being thrown at me from my family side. So you further had your one-on-one -on -one session with him? Please take us through it. Um, yes, so Prophet Andres did speak more about the attacks that he was seeing. He said that people were jealous of the blessing that God has put in my life. That is why I should be careful also of attending gatherings because that is where I get a lot of attacks and also that the devil doesn't want to see me rising. That is why he's attacking me while I'm still young because he doesn't want me to reach where God has placed me to reach. So what else did he talk to you about? Um, he spoke to me that God wants to give me another car. He, was, he said he was seeing a BMW M2 and then he said that the things that I, I currently have are nothing compared to what God is about to do to my life as well as uh, God has selected me to, um, to be uh, a star in my family. So basically um, I'm going to be the first in my family to have accumulated this level in particular. And he also um, guided me as to not to rush into the issues of marriage right now. I should just be humble and make sure that I do not leave God's presence because that's where my blessings are going to come from. Yes, I do confirm to, to, to be true. Everything that he said, it was true, as, especially um, when he delved deeper into the issues of um, the, the dreams that I was having and also the pressures I used to have in varsity. He mentioned that there was a spirit that was disturbing my studies. Hence, whenever I would want to study, I would experience so much difficulty. Yes, so he was able to deliver me. You just told us about the dreams that you'd be having. Can you just take us through it? What were these dreams? Okay, so usually I would see myself on the ground not being able to rise up as if there was a spiritual force that was suppressing me. Um, that is one of the dreams. And other dreams, I would just have uh, a, a spirit that uh, 
would portray itself like a child that is so young, a toddler, um, that could be, let's say, six months old, but the toddler would be able to speak as if there's, there's like an incarnation in that body and then there's a message from darkness. So that would stir up fear in me because I wouldn't understand where, where that thing is coming from. I also used to dream um, like a mermaid trying to fight me and then I also used to dream of myself having left my body and not being able to return. Sure. Yes. And how would these dreams affect you? Usually, I would, they would stir up my fear and then they would affect my faith in such a way that um, when I want to pray against them, I would be thoughtful of maybe how, how powerful they could be and they could return to come back and attack me. So they were really, really um, affecting me negatively and also um, they were giving me stress. Yes. So you also had an opportunity of sitting down with the Apostle one-on-one. -on -one. Please tell us what he said when he saw you and please confirm it. So Daddy said that he was going to say things that Prophet Andres did not say yesterday. So what he said to me, he guided me regarding my career path. So right now I'm a data scientist. So he was guiding me as to what God wants me to branch into in the nearest future. And I should start considering also studying further. And he also um, confirmed the, the blessing that God is, is about to bring into my life. Um, he spoke about wealth that is going to come to me because God has selected me in my family to prosper, yes. Thank you. And how do you feel after your one-on-one -on -one session with both the Apostle and Prophet Andres? The honest truth is I came here very discouraged and I learned that God is the God of encouragement and both the sessions that I had were able to lift me. So Prophet Andres lifted me to a certain level. So when Daddy picked up, he took me to another level of encouragement and I believe that Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Amen. And how would you encourage somebody who's currently watching this? I would encourage them to come to Cherries because mo many a times we need spiritual guidance. We can't continue to go in our lives blindly without knowing where we are going. So in order for us to be able to move correctly with God, uh, we must have somebody who would tell us or help us navigate the road that we need to go through in order to fulfill God's um, purposes. So I would encourage people to come to Cherries to also receive their own blessings and get to know what God is saying regarding their lives. I know my wife made pop. But I want, I want to. She is power. The name of Jesus. The name is Christ. You know what it is. I told you that the way you're staying, there's a lot of witches. He said, hey, I enjoyed them. I enjoyed these witches. I want them to come more and more. <laughs> First time I'm hearing a person say I enjoy this music. <laughs> it means he's trusting himself. Trusting his prayer. He's praying a lot. He's praying a lot. I enjoy it. Let's pray, let's pray, let's bring. All the time, his brother will come. Every Sunday. The minute I, I appear, there's a phone call. I'm sure this is to take him out of the church. Yeah, every each and every week, Sunday. <laughs> if then he's not gonna phone, maybe twice. Since uh, this year, maybe it might be three times. But each and every Sunday. So I don't know. So I don't know where spiritual. This. Uh, like I mean the spiritual. <laughs> Sometimes you, you take things light, mm. hey, you see? Because you, you have a small prosperity. Mm. You are watching. Every day. <laughs> when I went now, I was one of the first time. They are really watching. And I saw something that you uh, uh, build it very soon. Yes, 
plan and this time it will work. Yeah, the previous one has failed. Yes. But this one won't fail. <coughs> won't fail. I want to pray for this. May uh, God give you money. Father, in the name of Jesus, you are God who provides. You are God that can give us our desires. I pray for this prayer. Let your spirit execute it. Let it happen in the end of the world. Cast out the spirit of disappointment. Pray that as you want this man to do this, provide him with more finances. Financial stability. Jesus. Anyone that will try to stop you, let that person be disappointed. Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to viewers all over the world. Welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our one-on-one -on -one international visitors program and uh, the leadership of Apostle J.B. and Prophetess T.E. Makarinesa. And standing with me here today is my brother, who had an opportunity of sitting down with both the Apostle and Prophet Andres. Sir, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Okay, my name is Funalana Radzilani. I'm from Lotus Gardens. So, so, what are the reasons or challenges that brought you here? My challenges that brought me here is according to my for my academics, I, I, was performing, I was performing below my average marks. So I came to my attention that I must see profit one on one, so I must get help. He said I must not worry. Now it came to my attention now, recent because of my last time milk. I was, I, was, I was amazed when I performed like 40% in meds and well as I was like more, I can do more than that. So I said, uh, this is strange to me because I started more harder than this for me to deserve 40%. So it came to my attention that um, I must come to see profit. No, I'm, I'm still a student. I'm in grade 10 right now. Yes. So and how did it affect you, you know, when your marks dropped? How did it affect you? It, it affected me negatively because I didn't want to study more harder on meds because I knew that I would get average marks more than uh, than I expected. So you had an opportunity of sitting down with Prophet and Reese Simona one on one. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. He said he said I'm struggling with uh, um, academics. He said I'm 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 performing more than average and it's stressed it's, uh, and it's affecting me uh, f uh, mentally. I confirm that to be true because now I I I was like forget uh, forget about school try other new things. Yes, so I stopped and Prophet said told me that no don't worry you, you'll do better this time. It's just coming to be true. And that was it. You also saw the apostle one on one. What did he say to you? He said um he said he said the same thing uh, to Prophet to say he said um my marks and my 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 school work is dropping is dropping down and down. So he said, I must not worry, I must be faithful, and God will do his work. 
And how do you feel after a one-on-one -on -one session with both the Apostle and Prophet? I feel faithful and more encouraged to work harder. And how can you encourage a student who's watching this? I'll, I'll encourage him to come here if there's any any things that she's struggling, he or she's struggling with, to come see Prophet and she get assisted.